Hey there. Hi. Um, as you can see, this is not your typical theory video. That is because the theory in question is taking a lot longer to make and it's a lot harder than I thought it'd be. Do not worry. The video is still being made as we speak. I haven't given up on it. I am working as hard as I can to get it done. However, while you guys wait for that, here is a video that I made back in 2022 about Ponytown and its players who have these tags in them and how they deserve a break. I made this back in 2022, but honestly, I still think it is relevant now because Ponytown still has its issues with it. If you would like to know more about these tags, I have left a link to a wiki article about these tags and more. It'll be in the description down below if you need to go read that, or want to. I don't mind. Anyway, enjoy. Stop scrolling. Right now. Especially if you're a Ponytown player, you might want to hear this. I'm gonna try and make this as quick as possible, so I'm gonna get straight to the point. People with DNT or DNC or DNI in their name on Ponytown really need a break. Like, holy shit. I've noticed that it's gotten to the point where people are copying others with that tag just to see what would happen or make things worse. As in, probably be extremely problematic, making it look like, oh, all DNT players are like this. They're not. They're really not. Some of them, if they choose to engage in a conversation with you, can actually be really nice. And you know, if you're nice to them back, it just might make a friend. Uh, but it, it, that's that's the thing. It is hard for them to interact because most of the players on there can be extremely toxic and mean to these types of players. And I don't fucking get why. Sometimes I think it's not just about the anxiety, it's just the fact that they might want to sit there and enjoy the environment around them. Well, yes, there might be some people around them in that area, but I don't think it would really mean they want to fully interact. They just want to watch and enjoy themselves. And if they do want to go on their own private island, they can. If there are people that are a bit problematic around them and they're a little worried to interact with those types of players, they can always hide them. I might be a little bit off when I say all this, so if you're one of those people with do not touch, do not copy, clone, cuddle, do not interact in your name, please tell me in the comments about your experiences and what it's like to be one of those players. Please, I, I want to hear about it, I want to hear you guys out, because I, I don't know what exactly y'all go through, but I just hear you get a lot of shit, and I feel really bad for you. And not in the sarcastic way, but actually sympathetic, like, holy shit. And before some jackass goes into the comments saying, Oh, it's just a pony game, you don't have to worry about being fucking touched, it's not like you're being touched IRL. I get it, it's an online MMO, but that's the whole purpose, it's a massive multiplayer game. You don't know who the hell you're going to interact with. Some people can be really nice. Others can be the worst fucking person on earth. Even on the safe servers. It is awful. It's like IRL, but yes, it's fucking ponies. I understand. But there are still real people behind those screens. Remember that. Why is it so fucking hard to remember that? How I'm kind of seeing it, correct me if I'm wrong here, is if, you know, they interact with that player, with the person with the DNT in the name. I have a feeling that they sort of go into this panic, like, how am I supposed to respond? Am I talking too much? Am I talking too little? What do you want me to do here? It, 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 can, it can fill them with a lot of anxiousness and that's not healthy. That's probably why they have it in their name because they need to build up, you know, an actual safe feeling if you want, if, if they want to interact with you first. Don't just rush and engage these people because then I don't know. I don't care if it's a fucking online game. Show some fucking respect. Even if they don't have DNT in their name, show some goddamn respect. Unless it's a p file. Or is it show some respect. Don't go massively hating DNT players because the media tells you to. Or because your intrusive thoughts won. Like, actually shut the fuck up. Just respect these people for however they feel. I don't care how ridiculous it is. 
show some fucking respect and leave them alone. And if they want to interact with you, you can let them. If you don't feel like interacting, be a little more nicer when you say it. Just a little more nicer. Don't be a fucking dick. I'm going to be fucking honest with you. Not all of them want to be trapped in a 4x4 four four block just surrounded by walls. If they really wanted to do that, that would be their own decision, not yours. If they want to still sit there while having DNT or DNC, whatever in their name, then let them. And if they want to interact with people they can trust and understand and there and just be with their friends, even though they have that in their tag, let them because they are with people they are comfortable with. But if they're just sitting there on their own, even though they have that tag in their name, leave them alone. Okay? It's a simple fucking idea to grasp on. Try it.